Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas, and it's time to celebrate. No. Yay! Good morning, everyone. You may have noticed that uh, we were so excited about making ornaments yesterday that we forgot to do Advent, but that's fine. That means we get two Advent days each today. Double Advent Madness. So that's one of our plans for today. I also want to work on these shelves and possibly get the last shelf, maybe two shelves up and maybe do a little decorating if we have time. Are you designing everything, Luke? You coming up with a plan? Can you tell me what your plan is? That's a good plan. So yeah, this corner right here is sort of my project for today. I'm ready for it. Teddy's ready for it. I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it? Are you here? You're ready for the whole day. You're gonna take the whole day on. Luke's ready for it. I hear Parker being ready for it. I'm ready for it. You're ready for it. What are you doing with food over here? You gotta bring that back to the table, sir. I'm ready for it. Okay. But before we do any of that, let's do our advent calendars. Advent. Advent. Here, John. Luke with the solo. lights to start up a race. Yeah. See, the oh, lights. Put it out. You got lights. That's oh, the light yeah. switch. Oh, yeah. You found the light switch. <laughs> so strong, Luke. <gasps> it's another oh, car. You Ooh, found a car, it's Luke. That one. It's that one. Cool. Whoa. That is so cool. Let's go. Do you want to go see how fast it goes? Yeah, can you your car? Do, do. Do, do. Taking out your town? You setting it up? All right, let's set up your town. Come on. Oh, this car too? Okay. Oh, we gotta have your racing lights going. Oh, it's a pile up on Highway 8. Yeah, that's a cool one. Ooh, that one's got a little handle now. <laughs> I'm going faster than you. Stop lights, stop lights, stop lights, stop lights. Just keep on playing right there, okay? <laughs> Your turn. Another fireplace. Next. Oh, the next one. You're gonna just yeah. not even gonna build it. Just go to the next one. Is a hamburger shop. Ooh, oh. a hamburger oh. station. Oh. Hamburger. Bailey. Thank you. I'm five and six. <laughs> you found them both. <laughs> what? What? Right. Look. Oh, is it coming through the other side there? Yes. Oh, oh you're gonna pull it out side. of four? Yeah. I don't even oh. think that was five. I think that might have been like 11 or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh. Yep, 11's empty. Right. Here, we'll sneak it back in there. I don't know if it's, I like, it I want to do 11. that one though. That no, looks more no. fun. No, no, you gotta wait. This is 11. <laughs> gotta wait till the 11th day. Wow, how did they even, how did you do Maybe this? Maybe put it in five when she gets to 11, she's gonna open five. Oh, she's got it. Okay. The puzzle master. You ask how she does it. And number six. 
Oh. Is that one from um, Number well? six is... What? That one. Oh, this is only a two. Can I This see? is gonna be easy. Should be. So this is number I five. I probably spoke too soon, but that's normally what happens. Oh, this triangle in the heart. He was blowing on it for good luck. Oh, thank you for that good luck. You gonna force it? No. Force it, force it, force it. You did it! This one is one star. Oh, one star. Oh, one, one star. star. All right. Should be pretty quick. Send that bar low. Ooh. What? Ooh, this is a three-piecer. This does not look like a one star, but it looks right. Oh, oh, just getting somewhere. Did it. Oh. One star. Hi, Rue, are you ready? All right, Rue, let's see what we're looking at. It says, take a drive to see the lights. And there's a little bone. Don't kiss it. Rue, sit. Good girl. Oh, you're going down? Good girl. Would you like a bone? A little bone. Rue, I've got a surprise. It's a double day. You get another one. Another one. And for number six, it says decorate the tree together. Already done. And it's a little fire hydrant. Dogs love fire hydrants. Oh, yes. Good girl. There you go. She dropped it. Fire hydrant. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, dogs love fire hydrants. I know. It's Parker told me today that he was a little disappointed that we didn't do this yesterday because yeah. five was a big one. But now you get to do five and six. Oh. Okay, let's do that. Double landing. Whoa! Whoa! You knew it was a good one. Look at that. That's the coolest slime yet, I'd say. I would say two. Do you like the slime? That, that, oh yeah. my. What's it called? Rainbow candy cane. Oh yeah. Oh, candy yeah. cake. Oh yeah, it was underneath this big piece. Rainbow of candy cake. This wow. is so happy. I wanna feel how. It... <gasps> oh, that looks sticky. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So that's gonna be brown Ow. pretty fast, huh? <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, Would you rather have it brown than rainbow? No. Oh! <laughs> Maybe you should play over the carpet. What? What? Why? Why over the carpet? Because we've been destroying our carpet this afternoon. Oh, happened. okay, That's yeah. That's been the whole thing. Yeah, we do have a carpet cleaner and not a couch cleaner, so. It's not as organized anymore. I think it looks good still. Like, I'm surprised. Like, it hasn't turned brown yet? It did yeah. turn brown. Oh, a waffle! A waffle! Mm. Why? No, oh, that's pretty fun. I finished. So it's got this um, meat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how much Lego meat do you have? Mystery Mika? meat. It's pretty it's special. A, it's either a chicken wing. It's a chicken no, it's, wing. It could be a Christmas turkey. Oh, yeah. No. Just the leg, though. <laughs> this is a hamburger. I like this hamburger a lot. It's actually built upside down, which is pretty cool. And. It's a bagel sandwich and a not bagel sandwich. Da ba da ba da ba da swing. That's a big one. That's a big one. Goggles. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. whoa! Hey, that's a lot of stuff. Citric acid. Ooh, you got some acid and a stick and some safety goggles. Hmm. it. Hmm. Whoa. Sap powder. <laughs> Rainbow slime. Look at how uniform the slime has become. Ooh, if, I was not expecting the, it to feel like that. But look at the color that it turned. It's like, sort of like a rose, <gasps> rose There's still tan. some pink. There's a little, little speck Aww. of pink. 
We have some of them. Mauve. You call right it a mauve. I call it a mauve. Oh, right now, oh, oh cool. queen of tea. What's Are you going to be able to do this sick. while you're holding a sleeping baby? Yeah, yeah. sleeping, what nursing. Gonna... But I have my hot water all prepped. Hot water is ready. Ready and wait. But you only have one hot water and we're doing two days. <gasps> Two days, two Who teas. Gonna Parker's gonna tell us really quick what number five will be. I've learned over so many years, I'm better with tea. Oh, I like it. I've learned over many years, I'm better with tea. And this one says, enjoy your life like a cup of tea. Slow down and savor it. I Parker, it. You, I'd say you nailed it. Oh, and then it's tummy it tea. <laughs> A little something yummy for your tummy. Here's a wonderful minty after dinner treat with a sumptuously smooth and sweet aftertaste that lingers well in the evening. And it says it contains licorice. Sounds delicious. Do you have a guess of what motivational thing will be on this tea bag? I love tea. This is my best tea ever. I love tea. This is my best tea ever. Let's see I how close. I say that. And also, I, wait, really quick, before we open up, I love tea. This is my best tea ever. I forgot to have everybody smell my tummy tea. It what smells like peppermint. It does. <laughs> yeah. You can get the licorice. It's like a minty licorice. Mm. Oh, and Bailey brought out a second mug for me. Look at my setup. So tea life will be the, uh, the peppermint tummy tea and tea addict will be... A day filled with tea is a good day indeed. Ooh. That's very similar. Well, I yeah, can that tell was very they tried close. to make it rhyme. Yeah, they tried. Oh, Melbourne breakfast. When the winds start howling, this brew will see you through. Indulge a little with this full bodied vanilla sweet tea. Bound to keep you cozy all year round. Sip it up, Melbourne style. Ooh. What do you think? Uh, okay, don't no touch. <laughs> It smells like herbs mixed with a sugar cookie. Oh my gosh, it looks, it smells like a chocolate cookie. Chocolate cookie. Um, it smells like marshmallows in your hot chocolate. I don't know. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Kind of like sugary with the hot chocolate. No. Marshmallows with your chocolate, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it smells. <laughs> It smells like um, like a black tea with a lot of vanilla. Like the vanilla is pretty overpowering. And I mean, at this point, like a lot of noses and fingers. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and wherever I dropped it, like, the teas I drink are, have their own special flavor. Double the magic. Yeah! Let's see. It. Everybody loves this advent calendar because we don't have any idea what's going to be in here. Sometimes it's a magic trick. Sometimes it's a balloon. Oh, this is a magic trick. This is oh. this is something. This is called a sponge ball, and magicians use them. Oh, that one's a secret device that you're not supposed to know about. I know I know what it is, but I don't want to show it to you guys because it's a secret device. But I will I will use in a trick. It will be a part of the magic. Trick I'll show you. Know. If I showed you a part of it, you would see all of it, and I don't want, I don't want to spoil the magic. So is it real? Is it I don't want to spoil the magic. But this is a real. Both both things were real magic tricks today, which. Yeah. So you're gonna get two magic tricks at some point in this vlog. Yes. And Teddy has slept through all of this, so I thought he would wake up, but he's just like very happily nursing. And I don't know, what should we do? You guys wanna open it and we can give him the bear like when it's ready? Yes. Yes. So yes. that's what we'll do. Number five, where is it? Oh, <gasps> little boots Aww. for his feet. Are they slippers? <laughs> yeah, slippers. Number six is next. just woke up. Like he was like a bear? Are you talking about me? Teddy Bear Ballinger? Hello. Okay. Hey sleepyhead. Bailey put these boots on for you. And you got a little blue bear. What do you think? <laughs> I'm outside. I've got my safety goggles on. Time to cut some wood.
So I learned a couple things from doing the shelves last time, and so I'm trying a few techniques to see if I can improve my work on the shelves. So one thing that I'm doing is instead of measuring out and then getting my 45 degree angle, I'm just using the 45 degree angle on this and clamping a piece of wood down as a guide. And then I'll take my measurements from there. Instead of trying to like get the angle perfect, I think it'll be easier to cut the board at the angle and then do the round part of the board. So you can see I have a scrap piece of wood that I clamped onto here at the 45 degree angle. And I'll just run my saw along that and get a perfect 45 degree angle. Also, last time I was trying to make that half circle or quarter circle on the edge of the shelf. And so what I was doing is measuring from a, like a focal point and doing little marks and then eyeballing it across. Much more sophisticated this time. I'm using a paint stirring stick and I drilled a hole on both sides of it. So now I'll just put this down and rotate it along one of those holes and I'll get a perfect little circle. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is combine these two shelves, like keep them together before I put them up on the wall. Last time I put them up on the wall and they ended up kind of like splitting apart a little bit. I'm gonna bind them like this and then put them up on the wall at the same time. And the way I'm gonna do that is since this is a top shelf, no one's gonna see the top of it. So I can put this way in the back corner. And then right about here, I'm gonna put a wooden dowel. I'm a little behind schedule right now. As you can see, the shelves are not up yet. I'm missing four brackets. I have enough to put one shelf up, but not the other one. So I need to run to the hardware store. And that ran right into like nap time ending. So like this guy woke up. I think Luke's waking up right now. And Bailey has a, an online cooking class that she's taking. It smells really good. I don't know what she's making, but it smells really, really good. I'm excited to try it out. I and think it's cauliflower chicken soup. Cauliflower chicken soup? It yeah. smells, there's like ginger in it and like turmeric and it just smells really, And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and really quick, let me show where Duncan's at with his reading because he's doing such a good job. He said, can I eat, eat cake? Um, he said, I go sit with the cat. Wowie. Go, moo. Oh yeah, moo cow, here, high five. <laughs> nice. I guess now is as good a time as any to do a little magic, right? This one's gonna be really simple. I'm just gonna take the ball and squeeze it real tight. Maybe wave my little magic, this guy, around it like this, and the ball disappears. I have a feeling I'm gonna be getting more of those balls in this advent calendar. And if that's the case, there's a lot more really cool stuff I can do with that. But for now, we'll keep it simple. Now I'm just gonna use this little silk and place it over my hand like this and make a little indentation right there. Just a little, little spot, little pocket where I can put some salt. So I'm gonna pour salt in there. Hopefully you can see it falling into the handkerchief. There it goes. Just a couple grains in the wrong spot there. I'm gonna make sure they all get inside my hand. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, watch. The salt has vanished, completely gone, no salt anywhere. If I reach up into the air like that, I can pour out, hopefully you can see it. There's salt coming out of my hand, just like that. That is the second magic trick. Pretty good. Dinner time already happened for most of the kids, but Duncan and Parker are still working on theirs. How was the dinner tonight? It's good. It's amazing. Amazing? Amazing. I had some too. It was very good. 
probably the best chicken soup I've had ever. This is such dramatic lighting. Mm. Hold on, let me see. Let me get. It's literally if bright in here. Liked... There we go. Way less, dramatic. way less dramatic. It's, it's still pretty dramatic. So anyway, um, I, it gets dark so early these days. I'm going to uh, the hardware store. We got our brackets. All right, we are back home and I'm finally going to try and put a shelf up. I was hoping to have these up hours ago, but today has been one of those days where it seems like I, I couldn't get anything to happen when I thought it should happen. It's okay. No, the littler kids are going to bed right now. I have Jacob and Bailey to help me. We're gonna get these things up here. It's gonna look beautiful. I and mean, then we can put our Christmas village up here eventually, which I'm very excited about. Jacob, how are you feeling about the new home for the Christmas village? It's pretty cool. All right, count them. One, two, three, four shelves. Four shelves all up. I feel like I really need to work on my carpentry construction skills. I built sets in college uh, for plays and that was super fun and I felt like I was pretty good at it and I can build little intricate things like guitars and stuff like that pretty well. But I, I had a hard time with these shelves. Like these, these were a challenge. And personally, I feel like there's some stuff that we can do a little differently, like maybe have these be more of a decorative bracket. I went for function on this and I thought they'd kind of hide away because they were white. They don't look too bad from over here, but as you get closer to them, it's like, kind of looks like office supplies, but they're good. It's a good start and I can always improve on it over time. And now that that's done, we can put up the Christmas village eventually. And I think we can maybe do something with this area to decorate it a little bit tonight. What do you think? Yes. All right. Very let's, much so. Let's set it up. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that the Avengers love their holiday mystery meat. We learned that Jessica's teas often have hints of noses, little hands, and whatever she drops it in. And finally, we learned that if the lighting wants to be dramatic, there's nothing I can do about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>